I will tell you how to become rich. Close the doors. Be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. Said by Warren Buffett. Good afternoon to one and all present here. I, Divya Shinde, a first year MBA student, on behalf of PCTS, SB Patil Institute of Management, welcomes you all for today's guest session on, finance, on financial market operations and share market trading. It is a movement of a great pleasure me Great pleasure for me to welcome today's guest speaker, Mr. Avinash Vikram, before the session. I would like to thank Pimpri Chinswood Education Trust, on BLO, our beloved director and faculty members for giving this beautiful opportunity. I am prosefully overjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our guest of the day, Mr. Avinash Vikram, Associate Professor, Faculty of Business Administration and Commerce. Sir has completed Bachelor's of Commerce degree from Vikram University. Post-graduation diploma in Computer Application from AISECT, Computer Education, Bhopal. MBA from Devi Ahilya University Finance as major as marketing as minor. Sir is pursuing a PhD from Mansur University. Sir is a finance professional with a proven 10.5 years track record of accomplishment in industry and academics. During his journey, he is accounted, accountable for business development, relationship management, client servicing, students development. Sir is associated with internal counseling for admission and associate examination center superintendent. Sir has coordinated with content development for course curriculum, Sir, student research work, paper setting, examination copy evaluation, and academic responsibilities within the organization. Sir has exhaustive background in providing training and development in financial sector, including stock market, insurance, banking, retail sectors, and Google tools. Mr. Avinash Vikram is recipient for various notable awards and accomplishment of name a few. Sir has awarded for best paper in international conference on prospect and challenges faced by industries in a changing environment on Feb 16, 2020. Sir was coordinator of two days workshop on basis of banking and associate terminologist, which was organized by the faculty of business management and commerce. Sir has provided training to students on banking and accounting, module led by the Ministry of HRD in the name of Vocational Training Program. Thank you. Uh, now I request Avinash to kindly guide the students on the today's topic. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, students. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Maheshwari and the director and the management of the SB Patel Institute. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me to interact with the MBA students. Uh, I hope I am audible properly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're okay. Sure, sure. Yes, so it's it's a very good platform that in this uh, COVID period and this lockdown period, we got an opportunity that you will be interacting with X and Y faculty members from around the world, right? So it's a very good thing for all of us that we all are interacting with each other. And uh, today's topic, that is a very good topic. And uh, I hope that yesterday you have seen the budget also, right? So that budget is also the positive side uh, aspect that that is reflected in the stock market also. And the, the today's topic is also related with the same, right? So I hope that uh, our next two hours will be very interesting for all of you. So just wait, I am going to share my screen to all of you. Just hold for a second. My screen is visible properly. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Yeah. 
so when we talk about the financial market operations right so the first thing comes to your mind is financial market means the market which is give you your finance right so the question arises is here that what is this financial market what kind of a juggling is there the what financial market share market everyone is saying that share market is going up share market is going down but exactly we don't know that what are the basic fundas behind this stock market and the financial market so just i am give you a layout definition who will go to the conclusion of the share market that how a journey can happen from the 0 to the 100 right so first thing we need to understand about this market is what is financial market first thing very first thing and very common thing whenever we talk about the market the first thing comes to our mind is that there is a buyer and seller so exactly you are right buyer and seller is there but what is this financial market what we are getting there so the financial market in simple in simple terminology when you talk about then when anyone ask about you that what is financial market the simple layout meaning is the market where financial securities or commodities can be traded can be buy can be sold this is called the financial market in a general layman language but when we talk about that what are the basic fundas about the market so we need to understand in a deep manner that what is financial market so if the basic funda that a place where the entities can trade in a financial securities now the question arise who are the entities entities can be the individual like you and us like an organization like a bank like a corporate houses like a financial institutes anyone anyone can be the part of this financial market and the second thing is in this financial market there is a chances of getting a low transaction cost because the simple example if you are purchasing anything in a online market definitely you will get a reasonable rates as compared to the physical market that's why this online market is growing on a boom the simple funda is that in a financial market you will get a low transaction cost because there is no need to go in a physical form first thing second is that a place where prices are reflected by demand and supply as you are a student of first year mba so you have gone through with the economics and in a market there is a one funda work there is a supply there is a demand right and they both works and the result is reflected in the prices of the product the same way in a financial market the prices are reflected by the demand and supply when demand is high the prices goes high when the demand is less prices goes down general funda of a market second thing is when we talk about the securities so securities includes that shares bonds commodities shares means the amount of that requirement that is required by the company basically if you are going to set up a company you need money so you are going to issue a shares so that is the funda of basically shares bonds is usually issued by the government yesterday in budget that insurance irda is going to issue a bond right insurance bond so that bond is generally issued by the government companies right and the commodities commodities whenever we talk that commodities includes metal commodities and agri commodities metals that means gold silver crude oil and the agri commodities like your soybean gram potato everything everything is comes into the commodities right so that is the combination of financial market now when we go beyond this financial market why this financial market is working that is the flow of money flow of money like one side we talk about the households households means like you and us and the other side is the firms business organizations 
and in center there is a financial market as you can see in this picture in the center there is a financial market household is going to the financial market why we are going to the financial market because we have some surplus amount every every household person every individual who is having some earnings he wants to invest some amount of savings into some sector it's not compulsory that you have to invest in a share market only there is a variety of options you can invest your savings in share market you can invest in your bank fixed deposits you can park your funds in a saving account right so there are n number of options where you can save but you have to go into the financial market like if you want to buy a vegetable so you have to go in a vegetable market the same way if you want to invest if you want to save your money you have to go to the financial market the simple funda of this financial market when you invest your money in financial market then the other side of the market there are the firms firms here it means that the corporate houses business houses companies they required money so they borrow money from the financial market they need the funds so they generate the requirement in financial market so from financial market they get funds and the medium is that the capital expenditure on goods here the upside of the diagram you can see the government here the government is collecting taxes and providing wages salaries pensions so whenever we are saying that government is giving you pension government is giving a salary so they are not giving from their own pocket they take money from your pocket and then provide money same to you to you right that this is the funda the same way from the corporate houses government purchase goods government collect the taxes also right so this is the flow of money in the financial market how money can be rounded in a financial market now when we talk about this financial market what are the basic functions so the functions is first function of a financial market is price determination there are n number of instruments like for example shares commodities right bonds so they have to determine the price of the particular commodity particular shares particular products so this is the function of financial market that on the basis of demand and supply they determine the price of a particular shares or securities another function of the financial market is the fund mobilization fund mobilization we can relate this fund mobilization with the economic development of a country if in any country there is a proper mobilization of funds that means the flow of money from the investors to the borrowers it's when it should be proper then the economy will be growing in a proper manner the same example we can take of india in india there is a covid cases right from we can take an example from the first covid case that is uh, march 2020 right so from that the market boom growing on growing on and the two days we are going to touch on a 60000 so this is the growth country situation is we know we understand the country situation but when we talk about the economic condition the mobilization of funds so the country is getting proper mobilization of funds companies are getting funds through the market people have their funds they invest in a market so this is the proper mobilization of funds and that's why our economy is going on a good direction so this is the direct advantage of mobilization of funds second is sorry third is that liquidity the role of this financial market is providing in a liquidity like for example if you buy a land or you have some property and you want immediate cash you cannot sell that property in on a immediate basis because it takes a time 
because whenever you invest your money in a real estate sector it cannot provide you real time liquidity but in case of a financial market you need money you can sell in a fraction of second and you get a liquidity in your hand liquidity means whenever you need a requirement of cash the particular product can be converted into cash within a fraction of second this is called the liquidity so the financial market provides you the liquidity also so this is another function of the financial market next important function is that risk sharing risk sharing means say for example if i have a surplus of fund of 1 crore rupees and i want to invest this 1 crore so what i can do i can go in somewhere and i purchase the property might be after a few period that property has uh, blocked my funds might be the rate has been reduced anything can happen so there is a risk but when we talk about the financial market in financial market there are variety of options are available to you variety of investment avenues with you so on the basis of this you can manage your risk by the diversifying your investments say for example if you have a 1 crore rupees of your fund so what you can do you can invest some amount in your shares you can invest some amount in your bank fixed deposits you can invest some amount in your gold silver so this is the way how you can take an advantage of financial market and you can manage your risk so that if the share market is down so you can get money from the bank or you can get money from your gold and silver investment so you can manage the risk that is why the function risk sharing is associated with the financial market next important function that is easy access easy access means that whenever you want to buy and sell anything you can directly access to the financial market it's easy to reach and anyone can reach to the market this is the best advantage of a financial market that there is not to be depend on anyone you can directly go to the market and you can directly transact through the market this is the best advantage and best uh, available function of a financial market then next is reduction in transaction cost whenever we talk about buying and selling of anything the first thing comes to our mind is how much transaction cost is there right transaction cost means the cost which is extra uh, apart from that particular price of a commodity that's called the transaction cost so whenever we talk about the financial market it helps in reducing the transaction cost in simple i give you one example that if you want to transfer 5000 rupees to your friend what you can do you can just simply pick your mobile open a google phone google pay type a mobile number and just click 5000 rupees pay just simple there is no transaction cost but when we talk about the earlier time period the you have to go to the bank you fill a form you have to stand in a queue it takes a lot of 2 to 3 hours then your friend will get amount after 1 or 2 hours or maybe 2 or 3 days so this is the transaction cost you are going to the bank you are investing your time you are investing your petrol expenditure everything this is the reduction in transaction cost so that is the simple example the same applicable in the financial market if you want to buy shares if you want to buy fix you want to do fixed deposit where are you are going you have no need to go anywhere you have to go into the financial market just do the transaction there is no transaction cost or the minimal transaction this is the function of financial market then the capital formation capital formation means that if we talk about any country any economy there is a need of capital formation capital formation here itself says that when the funds accumulated and used for the development of a economy that is called the capital formation development of economy here it means the employment generation gdp 
creation, GDP increasing, per capita increasing. So this is the role of capital formation. So this is the overall functions performed by the financial market that how a financial market helps out in the overall economy. Just, just for a second. Yeah. Now, who can participate in the financial market? The question arises: Who will be the participant? Right. So, like you and us. First is the government. Government is the participant of financial market. Then, central banks. Banks are also investing in a market. They are also participating in a market. Then corporations, there are many corporate houses, institutional traders, institutional traders, like if we are talking about the brokerage houses, they are there. Retail traders, retail traders means you and us, right? Whenever we are uh, participating in a financial market, we are comes into the retail traders. Then the brokers are there that uh, say for example, SDFC securities, ICICI securities like market makers, those who are uh, the players of a market, they are the market makers. So these all are the participants of a financial market. They really work into the market and they really move the market. Now, Another question arises, if we are talking about the financial market, there are a number of financial market as there. So I have tried to just clarify you the categories of a financial market on the basis of some backgrounds. So when we talk about the financial market on the basis of claim, nature of claim, so there is two category of market, debt market and equity market. Equity market, you uh, very well known that the share market is the equity market, right? Where you can purchase and sell the equity. Another market is the debt market. Debt market means the market where you can get a debt instrument. Debt instrument means you can say the debentures or the government securities, bonds, that kind of market is known as debt market. So on the basis of claim, we have segregated into two categories. On the basis of maturity of claim, there is another categorization that is money market and capital market. These two are very important to understand because our next PPT is, uh, is depend on this categorization. Money market and capital market. Money market means those market where you can get money market instruments that means the certificate of deposits commercial papers bonds that kind of market is known as money market and the second is the capital market which is known as the share market primary and secondary market so this is called the capital market on the basis of timing of delivery there is another segmentation that is cash market and future market Cash market is that market in which we are paying the cash and we are getting the things. This is called the cash market. You are getting the things on an immediate basis. This is called the cash market. Just like a physical market, cash market is there. But if we talk about the future market, in future market, you have to pay the amount. You will get the product in future date. This is called the future market not right now you are getting anything you have to pay right now you will get the things after some time this is called the future market but in financial market everything is available in next slide we understand how future market works and the last categorization in on the basis of organizational structure there is two categorization exchange traded market over the counter market 
Many of you have heard that the dabba trading. Dabba trading is called as a known as a illegal trading, right? When the where the market, or we can say that in old movies that uh, farmers are getting money from the money lenders, right? And they forfeited their lands. That is called over the counter market. The market where there is no rules and regulations, and for that purpose, another segregation is the exchange traded market. When we trade the in a, with the help of exchange, so over the counter market is OTC market where there is no rules regulations that people directly trade. I need a money, I went to a, some person, I get the money that is called OTC market over the counter. Exchange traded, I need a money, I went to the market, I sell my shares, I got the money. This is called exchange traded market. So this is the basic segregation of a market. Now our next slide is, I told you earlier that our slide will start from this related to capital market, right? Because our topic is financial market operations and the share market. So I try to relate the first topic to the second topic that how share market arrived from the financial market. So, in financial market, there is segregation that is capital market. Now, the capital market this comes to you. The capital market means the market where you can buy or sell the securities, right? So, this capital market is divided into two categories. First is primary market and the secondary market. Primary market and secondary market is very common to everyone, but I'll give you a short briefing about this primary and secondary market. Primary market means a market where any corporation, any corporate, any company issue shares first time. Any company issue shares first time that shares will be issued or can be issued in the primary market only. And it is very well known in the name of IPO. IPO basically known as Initial Public Offer. Yesterday's headline, the most important headline of that budget is LIC is going to issue a IPO, right? So in that last budget, LIC is going to launch a IPO. So that IPO means that first time any company planning to issue shares in the market that is termed as a IPO and that cannot be into the any other market that can be issued through the primary market. So here you can understand through this picture that the primary market, primary market, there is a corporation, there are companies that is called new issue securities. New issue securities means the first time, very first shares issued through the primary market only, nowhere else. And there are fund managers, investors, fund managers means the person, those persons who are managing the funds, they are known as the fund managers and the investors like you and us, if you want to buy any kind of fresh issue of shares, so you can go to the, go and buy the IPOs. How we can buy that will be covered in a next slide, right? Now the secondary market, primary market, I hope it is clear to all of you that First time any company wants to issue the share that will be issued through the primary market. Secondary market is that market where existing securities are buying and selling by the investors. There is no role of companies in the secondary market. And the role of buyers and sellers only. Most important role played by buyers and sellers. How it works that if you want to buy a shares of any existing company, say for example, you want to buy a share of Tata Steel. So Tata Steel is not going to issue fresh shares. So what you will do? You have to go into the secondary market. Secondary market means the market where already product is there. Somebody is having that product. If he is selling the product, then you can buy the product. Just like a used car showroom, right? This is called the secondary market. So there is a two categorization of market, capital market, primary market and secondary market. So I hope it is 
clear to all of you that what is the role of primary and secondary market now whenever we talk about the primary and secondary market the question arise stock exchange why stock exchange because what is the place where we can buy and share sell the shares from the first slide we are talking about that buying and selling of securities so where from where we can get the shares so we, we need to understand we can get the shares from the stock exchange so stock exchange what is stock exchange now your question arise so what is a stock exchange so stock exchange means a exchange or a place where financial securities are issued by the company right or sold by the company we can say why to create a liquidity for financial securities stock exchange works on order matching algorithm and they earn by charging fees for buying and selling of shares now in simple language we can understand that stock exchange means a place where companies are selling their shares a place where you and us buy and sell the shares that stock exchange provides you the liquidity because any time you want to buy you can buy any time you want to sell you can sell it works on order matching algorithm now the question arises what does this order matching algorithm and this word is like uh, related to mathematical right so order matching algorithm that means if any person is one seller and any person is a buyer if they are both requirement matches then only order is executed say for example if you want to buy any product take a example of a vegetable market or a ready made market you want you are going to buy jeans in a market then after selecting a jeans you just started bargaining give it me in 800 rupees he said no below 1200 i cannot sell after that order matching algorithm started working you come to 850 he said no before 11 below 11 i cannot then your order matching algorithm matches at 1000 rupees any both who agree so this type of transaction this type of algorithm matches in a stock exchange between the buyers and sellers sitting at their own places this is the work of a stock exchange and for doing this type of matching for doing this type of buying and selling they charging fees so this is the stock exchange now another question why stock exchange established stock exchange is there but the question arise what is the need of this stock exchange why why to establish stock exchange the reason is because it is on a varied platform i hope that many of you have seen a guru movie a very old movie that showed that how trading of the goods and securities takes place in a earlier time period that trading at a uh, mumbai uh, gateway of india at that place trading was done in activities the goods arrived at a seaport and people started the bidding for the goods and that kind of trading was there at a earlier times after they they started it in a of physical form then to smoothen the trading to smoothen the buying and selling and to provide the facilities to the buyers and sellers a nationwide trading platform has been set up right and the another reason is that to provide equal access to investors all over the country so that all over countries persons can participate in a proper manner for trading or for buying and selling another purpose is that to meeting the international benchmarks because we have to become a developed country we are still in a stage of a developing nation so to become a developed country we need to meet the international benchmarks so for meeting that benchmarks we need to work on a 
स्मूथन ऑफ ट्रेडिंग एंड बाइंग एंड सेलिंग ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज सो फॉर दैट पर्पज स्टॉक एक्सचेंज हैज बीन स्टेब्लिश एंड अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इनेबलिंग अ शॉर्टर सेटलमेंट साइकिल नाउ शॉर्टर सेटलमेंट साइकिल इट मीन्स दैट वेन एवर वी आर बाइंग अ थिंग इट विल टेक अ टाइम टू गेट द प्रोडक्ट राइट so for example it's not like a vegetable market that you are going to the market take a bag put your vegetable into the bag and collect get take it from at a home no it's not like that so to shorten the settlement cycle stock exchange has been established so that mean if the minimum duration transaction can be executed this is the basic purpose basic reason why stock exchange has established now when we talk about the stock exchange the another question arises that which exchange because you heard about bsc and nsc there are only two major important exchange there are many in, uh, exchanges but majorly there are two stock exchanges in india that is nsc and bsc nsc and bsc it means that bombay stock exchange and nsc is the national stock exchange these are two major stock exchange and bsc is known as a sensex sensex means the indicator of bombay stock exchange and nifty is the indicator of national stock exchange the figure which i have mentioned is 558862 that is the figure of last closing the closing of yesterday's after declaration of budget and the nifty figure in 17576 it was the figure of yesterday's evening so whenever you read the newspaper you got this type of values nifty cross 15000 nifty cross 17000 sensex crosses 60000 right so this is the indicator of market and by this we can analyze that our country's economy or financial condition is improving or not if the market if the sensex and nifty is showing the declined arrow or we can say that if they are showing a declining trend that after two days after three days you watch the market and you can say that this market is on 56000 55000 so you are mindset is saying that the economy is not going going in a correct direction economy is going into a negative direction so this is your mindset by which you can take a decision to buy and sell the financial securities this is one of the dis- uh, another thing is that when we talk about this bsc and nsc so what is the history of this bsc nsc when they have started because we need to know each and everything because we are starting from the zero so we need to understand what is this bsc what is this nsc and what is the role so basically stock exchange means to buy and sell the securities here you can see in the picture can we buy directly from a stock exchange website like suppose if i want to buy shares or if i want to sell the share can i go directly on a stock exchange website nsc or bsc can anyone can anyone reply me by switch no, on sir. your microphone no right because they are the stock exchange they are not the direct platform they are providing a platform but they cannot directly selling or buying the things so what we can do we need one mediator we need one mediator mediator means the broker broker is required now for example suppose if i am a very new person i don't know about the share market somebody or some my, or some of my friend t- told me that uh, purchase a share of a uh, axis bank limited so what i'll do i'll just open a google i check out 
on a national stock exchange that the Axis Bank is at this price. So if I want to buy, what I'll do? First, I need DMAT to account. find uh, DMAT account. But for that purpose, I need to find a broker because broker is providing me the DMAT form. So DMAT account, first I need to find the broker. Now, if I talk about the broker, there are n number of brokers available. Just like when you going to the market, there are n number of shops. You have to select the shop that the shop is reasonable. The behavior of the shopkeeper is not good. So on the basis of various mindset, you choose the particular shop. The same way I have to choose the broker. There are various brokers. Say for example, ICC Securities, Angel Broking, Carvey Stroke Broking, Motilal Oswal Securities. There are a number of brokers. And the brokers are associated with stock exchanges and the retail investors, right? So I have to find the broker. The same way if there is a seller, he wants to find the broker and then that stock exchange activities can take place, right? Now, what is this NSC, NSC National Stock Exchange? So this is the India's largest stock exchange incorporated in 1992. These are few dates, few years. You should remember that sometimes they may ask or anybody can ask when NSC started its operations. So you can say that NSC started operations in 94 and incorporated in 1992. There is one word you can see in the screen that is written in a red color, SEBI, S-E-B-I, right? SEBI is the organization which is the regulator of the whole stock exchanges, right? If anybody can work or wants to work with the, the stock exchanges, so that particular company has to follow the guidelines of SEBI also, right? And every broker has to follow the guidelines of SEBI. Everyone has to follow the guidelines of SEBI. Just like when we talk about the banks, that RBI is there. So same way when we talk about the stock exchange, share market, SEBI is there, the regulator of stock exchanges, right? So NSC started its operation in 1994. And the BSC, BSC earlier, it's known as Native Share and Stock Broker Association, established in 1875. It's very old, very old organization. Right, and is located at Dalal Street, Mumbai. Both both stock exchanges is located in Mumbai itself. Right. Now, the question arises that the word we have used is Sensex and Nifty. So, how we can use this Sensex and Nifty? These two are the indexes. Indexes means that tells us the view of market. Now, when we talk about view of market, there is two words. One is bull and another one is beer. Bull and beer is saying that when you thought that everything is good, everything is going in an upward trend. So your view is bullish trend. Bullish trend means your view is saying that everything is going good. The movement is in an upward trend the prices will go up high. This is called the bullish trend, right? This is called bull view. Another thing is, when you thought that no economy is going down, prices will go down, the market will crash, right? So this is called bearish view. So there is two thing in a market and these two things can be visualized with the help of this index. Index will tell you, the bull view of a market, it's bullish view or bearish view. If the trend of a Sensex or Nifty or we can say combine the index, if the index is going downward trend, you can say that market is bearish. Market is bearish means everything is negative, right? So this is the way to understand the movement of market. It's bullish or bearish. So here, to understand the market direction, index can be used. And the understand the index, there is two index, Sensex and Nifty. 
now the nifty how we, nifty can be prepared so nifty is national stock exchange 50 it is representing the weighted average of 50 indian companies stocks in 12 varied sectors right and it is one of the two main stock indices used in india in india there is two stock indices used nifty and sensex so it is one of them and it is represents the weighted average you have heard about the statistics so weighted average of 50 indian companies stocks and the base value of nifty is 1000 in previous slide we have seen that the nifty present rate of nifty is 17000 but the base value of nifty was 1000 when the nifty started nifty started in 94 so at that time the value of nifty is 1000 when the nifty started right and the today's value is 17000 so you can understand you can think that the growth of from 1000 to the 17000 and i show you how this growth takes place over the year from the 94 to the present stage here you can see the growth chart of nifty index in 1996 it was on 1107 94 it is started its operations and the base value was 1000 so i have not taken that figure in 96 it was 1107 and it is around eight years for doubling 1000 to 2000 it takes around eight years 96 to 2004 long period so after that the growth of this nifty index is just like you can see the chart it's an upward trend upward trend means in 2006 it's 3000 just two years 2004 to 2006 2000 to 3000 2006 to 2007 just double if suppose for example you invest in a market in 2006 100 rupees then your amount will be doubled in 2007 this is the growth this is the growth of economy from the share market so you can understand people are saying that in a share market people may become very rich very rich right so this is the way how people can become a rich right? this is the journey and the present stage is 17576 and today it is uh, also up very up uh, around 17600 above right so this is the market conditions how the journey takes place from the 1000 to 15000 and 17000 in last year the more nifty index was on 15000 and this year this is 17500 this growth will gives you good returns how we can get the returns we'll understand how to trade in a market another thing is that sensex we unless got the nifty now another thing is that the sensex sensex here says that sensitivity index sensitivity index means the weighted average of 30 indian companies stocks 30 indian companies stocks ka jo weighted average hai that will be represented as a sensex sensex represented for the bsc bombay stock exchange right and the base value of sensex is 100 now you can understand the base value of nifty is 1000 but the base value of sensex is 100 this started from 100 and the growth chart of this bsc sensex you can imagine just see the chart 1979 it was on 100 1990 1000 the growth of 10 times 79 to 90 around in 11 years you will got 10 times growth 10 times means you deposited 100 rupees and you got 1000 rupees every year 100 percent return double the return this is the advantage right and 1990 to 92 
the growth was four times in two years the amount will comes to four times this is the growth story of bsc sensex any question you want to ask here sir hmm sir the bsc started in uh, before 1900 no if i am not wrong i think 1875 1875 but it's legally started in 79 okay yeah earlier it was working but it is in a uh, offline physical mode so there was no sensex after that they converted into the forms of exchange and after that the value has been derived on the basis of weighted average of companies shares so the journey started from 79 like okay, you ha uh, right, right. you heard about the various uh, famous persons who earn money through the market like, like uh, one name uh, very famous name belongs to your mumbai maharashtra region that rakesh junjunwala right he started his business and uh, not a business he started investing in a share market and earns thousands of crore rupees thousands of crore and on the basis of those profits he started a airline industry on the basis of those profits right one more person one more person is that uh, dhamami mr dhamami right uh, d mart jinka hai d mart group he is also earned profit through the stock market and after earning profits they invest it into the company and they started a company d mart retail right so this is the way how people earn if you want to earn a money in a market there are n number of options right market will gives you good returns but it depends on your study how we can track the market and we can earn through the market now we'll move how to trade in a market up till now this is just a history and the basic theoretical portion of our discussion that how to understand the market now the question arise how to trade in a market so now my ppt will turns into the trading part how to trade in a market this is the basic funda basic uh, we can say the basic theory of a market that share market is this right now after this whenever we are planning to trade first thing we need to understand that in which sectors right sector is very important to choose say for example right if you have a money and you want to invest your money first thing we have to invest first question arise in my mind is we have to invest so you have to identify the sectors right so how we can identify the sectors so sectors few sample sectors i have taken over here like one is the energy sector energy sector means the sector which or we can say the companies which is related to the energy production batteries like so this type of companies comes under the energy sector industrial sectors consumer durables right financials financials you can say that banking firms insurance firms right this comes under the financial firms it sector it sector means wipro infosys right these are the it sectors then telecommunication services bharti then bsnl reliance jio right these are the sect companies so i take only three four names but there are more than 10 15 20 companies in each and every sector utility sector is related to the electricity companies water supplying real estate sector that um, we can say lnt right um, one sahara is there right now there is some disputes with sahara right so there are variety of sectors so first you need to understand in which sector i have to invest right 
because it's not like if you want to invest you close your eyes and uh, just like in invest your money in any sector no you cannot do that first identify the correct sector because you earn money through your hard efforts right so you cannot waste your money so first choose the particular sector in a most effective way right then after selecting the sectors what you can do that you go to the stock exchange now the stock exchange how works that first thing is suppose you are a company so company listed their shares right take example suppose if that i want to start a company so what i can do i need a money so i listed my shares in a stock exchange right after listing of my shares in a stock exchange that second is i issue my shares into the primary market right then primary market after that primary market that comes into the ipo issues ipo issues that after shares were distributed uh, might be many of you are commerce students or so shares allotment share applications you have heard about that so this is a very simple process whenever any company issue ipo public will apply for purchasing of that ipo it's not like that company is directly giving you say for example if in year future lic is going to issue a ipo so what they will do they listed their ipo in a market primary market through that market they launch their ipo ipo means initial public offer after that the public will apply for ipo that say for example x person wants to purchase 10 shares so he apply for 10 shares i want to purchase 25 shares so i applied 25 for 25 shares after those applications what the company will do they sorted those applications and if the applications and the number of shares is matches then they distributed or they allotted the shares to the investors right and after that shares allotment that shares has been shifted to the secondary market and then after trading will begins right after that after issuing after allotment of shares then only the shares comes into the secondary market right so this is the basic procedure of a stock exchange that ipo issues ipo shares allotted and then only share trading begins in a secondary market now after that secondary market how you are working started if you want to buy a share you what you will do you placed a order first very first step is that you place a order right after that what your broker will do broker send it to the exchange you place an order through your broker broker the send the information to the exchange right then after the third step is that your exchange finds the counterparty counterparty means is there anyone who wants to sell the particular thing if yes right if no then your order will be cancelled but if yes if there is a availability of any party who wants to purchase or who wants to sell the shares which you want to buy then exchange confirms to the broker after confirmation broker will debit or credit the account it means if the exchange says yes the seller is available then broker debit or credit the account if i am going to buy the shares so broker will debit my account right and if i want to sell the shares the broker will credit my account this is the very basic funda of a working of a stock exchange right now at what time we can trade so the regular trading sessions is 9 15 to 15 30 right morning 9 15 hours to the 
afternoon 15:30 hours that means 3:30 pm till that time you can trade so this is the market timing if anybody wants to learn the share market how to trade in a market so first thing is that to open a demat account after that these are the market timings at that time you can buy or sell the shares right now in share market trading you can do two things buying of shares and selling of shares only two thing you can do buying and selling there is no third option here the question arise you want to invest or you want to trade because many times i have used these two words investment trading in general both are same but when we talk about in a depth stock market trading these two words are very different investment is very different trading is very different so what is investment and what is trading anyone anyone i need to hear from your side investment and trading both are same the continuous buying and sharing of uh, shares are is trading and investment mm. is buying and waiting for a long period of time right so there is two type of persons two type of persons in a market right one first person is that who wants to invest in a market so that is like i have 10000 rupees i invest in a market i waited for 10 15 20 30 years i forgot that money right this is called investment but the trading i started it's just, trading is just like your business every day at 9:15 you started your computer you started trading buying selling buying selling on frequent basis this is called the trading right and the funda of share market is investors will always in a profit situation but a trader a trader may be in a loss or may be in a profit there is no surety but for the investors the share market always gives you a very good return and the average return of the share market is more than 10% more than 10% return is given by the share market for the investors but for the traders there is no surety because trading is very risky because at the next moment you don't know what will happen right at the next moment you cannot say in the next 2 seconds what will going to happen to you so trading is very risky but no it's not like first we need to understand both the things investment and trading then only we can say trading is risky or not right if you do it in a smart way trading is a profitable but if you are doing it in just without any knowledge without any study then the trading is in the situation will gives you a loss situation always right so investment how to invest in a market first broker is the party that mediates between buyer and seller a stock broker or broker is a regulated professional broker because what happen that generally in a market we go to the broker and we talk to him and we want to get the suggestion from the broker that which type of shares i have to i can buy which type of shares i can hold for the long period right and the broker suggest you but it's the study of broker not you no doubt in a market he is working from so many years he is knowledgeable but when you want to invest your money first thing you have to study yourself right this is the basic funda of a market now how to invest first process is open a demat account right first thing is we have to open a demat account why demat account because whenever you purchase any shares that shares should be put anywhere should be put at which place right just like a bank 
in a bank account your money can be kept so in the same way in demet account your shares can be kept so for that purpose demet account is compulsory before 15 20 years there was a no rule of demet account at that time the physical certificate has been issued by the companies on the name of a investor suppose you purchase 10 shares so that company will share send you certificate of 10 shares at your postal address and it requires lots of cost it requires uh, lots of uh, time and many things after that dematerialization comes to comes takes place and after that demet account is there so we have to open a demet account after that attach with broker or sub broker then third process is a computer terminal with odin software computer ter terminal and with odin software that means there is a software which is used for the trading purpose right uh might be you have seen and i have a sample demo also for that odin software a software which shows you a black color screen which is giving you a reflection of red and blue colors right that is called odin software so that software is given to you after that you will get a username and password then you will get your login details right after that you can buy or sell the shares if you buy shares your shares move to the demet account if you say shares that moves out from your demet account right so it's just simple flow chart of a working of your demet account right any question here no sir now this is the simple simple demo of a odin software this is just very simple here n number of shares are available it's it is a uh, customizable it is depend on the person to person if you want to select a particular company share so you can sort out it you can select it you can customize it you want that you need something else with this uh, particular software you want to attach a chart also so you can attach so this is called odin software and nowadays this odin software just hold for second student so in this type of odin software the trade is very easy to buy and sell the securities or to buy or sell the shares nowadays uh, web based uh, software is also there in which you can see the shares but those who are the professional brokers or those who are the professional traders they use this type of software only right so this is very important and this is a very good software every professional trader is using this software now trading terminologies delivery and day trading right delivery and day trading is two common terminologies when we are when we are purchasing the shares right for the purpose of holding them for more than a day suppose i want to purchase a share and i want to hold it for more than one day this is called delivery trading and if i want to purchase a share or sell the shares for the intraday intraday means within the day 
then in that case this is called day trading right? so delivery and day trading these two terminologies is very important in intraday trading you have to square off your position on the same day the same day means suppose you purchase a share in morning 11 am so you have to sell it before 3:30 anyhow otherwise the exchange will square off your position at the available market price this is the concept of day trading in case of day trading you have to square off square off means if you buy the share then you have to sell it anyhow or if you sold the shares then you have to purchase it anyhow right this is called day trading but when there is a concept of delivery you have to purchase the shares stocks right you can hold it for more than one day this is called delivery trading now when we talk about the price so in case of a price there are n number of prices available first price is that ltp the short form is ltp last trade price right last trade price is saying that the price of a particular shares lastly traded means with the fraction of second just before what is the price of that particular share that is called ltp last trade price whenever you are purchasing a shares that price is the ltp last trade price open price means whenever the market open right so the prices shown by that particular market at the starting of a market that is called open price close price means at the ending closing of a market that particular share price is reflected in an exchange is known as close pricing right day high and day low day high means in the whole day from 9:15 to 3:30 what is the highest price that which was touched by a particular share that is called day high and day low means the lowest price of a particular day that is called day low prices then another thing is 52 weeks high and low 52 weeks high and low that means that in a one year period from the day of trading last 52 weeks what is the high value touched by a particular share and what was the low value touched by the particular share that is the 52 week high and low why this prices was uh, mentioned in that particular uh, trading terminal the reason is because you need to know what was the highest benchmark touched by the particular company share what was the lowest value of one year today's highest and today's lowest value today's opening price and what is the current price current price means the last trade price so on the basis of these prices you can take the decision to buy or sell the share right so this is the trading terminology related to the price now another thing is that important terms is market price market price here is saying that the price which is reflected or which is existing in a market that is called the market price right so if suppose you are watching a window and you said that the shares of a x bank is available at 400 rupees so that is called the market price right so if you want to purchase a share you can go you can purchase a share through the market price right now another terminology is saying that limit price now the limit price is saying that in present situation the market is showing 400 rupees price of a one share but you said no i want to buy in 395 only so what you will do you can apply your order at 395 this is called limit price so you can understand the market price means whatever the price available in a market you can purchase through the market price if you don't want then you can put your own prices that is called the limit price that 
if the market will touch or if the share price will touch 395 then only i can buy or otherwise i will not buy right so this is called limit price these two things last second last and last margin and short selling this is a very beautiful funda of a share market and it is related to the intraday trading intraday trading means when you want to buy and sell shares on a same day in that case company provides you some additional advantages every broker will provide provides you additional advantages what kind of advantages first thing is margin margin means say same very simple example if suppose you want to buy anything buy the shares right so you need to have a cash very first thing right suppose take some numerical example that the particular share price of uh, x company is i say say bank is 100 rupees and you want to buy 10 shares so you need 1000 rupees for the purchase of shares so in case of a margin trading in case of a intraday trading there is no need to have 1000 rupees in your back pocket or in your bank account why because you are doing intraday trading and in case of a intraday trading ya yeah, day trading companies provides you margin facility margin facility means that you can buy the shares of 1000 rupees but in rupees 500 400 will give you margin limit the companies will broker will provide you margin limit margin limit means 10 times 5 times 6 times it depends on broker to broker right say for example 10 times margin is provided by the broker that means in 100 rupees you can buy the shares of 1000 rupees for the day trading purpose this is the advantage of day trading and this is the reason for which people will attract for the intraday trading because in less amount of cash you can purchase more amount of shares this is the advantage of day trading right so this is called margin margin means the extra limit provided by the broker for purchasing of shares on a day trading purpose right this is called margin another thing is short selling now short selling means in physical market if we take an example in physical market can we sell the things which we are not having not possible right if i don't have any particular thing then how can i sell the thing but in case of a day trading right in case of a day trading Uh, stock exchange and brokers provides me the facility to short selling short selling means first sell the shares after that you buy the shares why why first thing is comes to your mind is that why should i do this ultimately we know only one concept first buy and sell because you buy the shares after that price will go high and you sell the shares so that you can earn profit but in case of a short selling how you can prof make profit when you sell the shares at higher prices and buy the shares at a lower prices you can make a profit by the short selling and short selling is usually done when the market is going down or we can say when the market is in a bearish view you can use the concept of short selling so this is the advantage of short selling now delivery trading is also known as cash trading and in case in this case we can buy shares with the cash we have if i have 10000 rupees i can buy shares of 10000 rupees only i cannot buy shares of 20000 rupees with 10000 rupees no it's not possible right so this is called delivery trading day trading we can buy share sell shares within same day and margin trading facility is available margin means the extra limit and it may varies from 5 times to 20 times 5 times to 20 times means it, if you have 100 rupees you can buy shares of 20000 2000 rupees 
right so this is the advantage provided by the brokers to the traders now there is one more terminology order and trade order means bids you are putting into the terminal right whenever you are trading in a market there is two thing reflected order and trade order means you are planning to buy a particular share you put your prices you put your number of shares you want to buy and click on submit that is the order but when the exchange confirms the transaction exchange executed the transaction then that case the trade will occurs right so order means bids you are putting into the terminal and trade which are executed so after execution of order trade has been shown into the account so this is just a simple window how to buy the shares through the odin software so this is the order form by which you can put your requirement in this type of share uh, software what you have to do first thing is you have to select a particular share after selecting the share you have to press the button for buying right or for the buying there is a shortcut key in odin software is plus in numpad in your keyboard there is a numpad on numpad if you press the plus button that you can your buy option will be open to you and in that case on the you have to put the total quantity how much quantity you want to buy this total quantity you have to write here in the total quantity column and the prices which is known as ltp you can see in the screen that the symbol is prithvi the share name is prithvi i want to purchase right and the ltp this is the ltp last trade price and the price is showing 251.80 this is called last trade price right and if i want to see that 250.60 is the closing price of last day opening price is 253 high is 256 and low is 249.80 so by this view values i can see the variation in particular share so what i have to do i have to put only total quantity total quantity and if i am a professional so i have to write a client code also and if i do it for my own then there is no need to write client code right so this is the way how i can put order for buying in the same way for selling purpose i have to press minus button in my keyboard then the sell window open for me so this is the way you can put your orders just hold for a second students um
Students, please wait. Uh, sir will be joining shortly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, students. Sorry for the interruption. Just <laughs> yeah. So, students, we are on a how to sell in a share market. So, this window is open to you, and in that case, you have to write your number of quantity which you are going to sell. Right. So, selecting the shares up. Uh, put uh, or press the minus button so that your window will appear this is a uh, sample form for the odin software every software is having their own norms but this is a sample for the odin software so you have to write the number of quantity which you want to sell by which you can get the details of a selling of shares now the important thing is whenever we are trading so how we can earn profit so for that purpose the basis of trading is that fundamental basis fundamental basis means that we need to analyze the company's accounts because the question arise which shares i have to buy which shares i have to sell which shares i have to hold for the more period right so this is the question and you can get the answer by your own how we can get the answer there is two ways first is the fundamental basis and the second is technical basis right first is the fundamental basis and the second is technical basis in case of a fundamental basis you can understand the company's accounts company's accounts means you have to analyze the company these annual statements you have to analyze the business profitability and how we can analyze we can analyze through the eps profit earning ratio right price earning ratio book value to price earning ratio these are the few ratios by which you can understand the situation of a particular company so this is the way how we can understand and how we can analyze the fundamentals of a company because if the fundamental is strong then in that case we can say that the company is in a good position and we can earn profit in a long term this is the fundamental strategy if we talk about the technical basis technical basis is providing you the movement of prices on the basis of charts patterns so on the basis of charts because you can understand the charts also on the basis of those charts you can analyze the patterns how the particular share prices goes up how the particular share prices goes down on the basis of charts right so there is two ways fundamental basis and technical basis by which we can trade in a market right now these were the related to the day trading and delivery another important thing is derivatives right and in derivatives that is related to futures and options right futures and options in case of a future in case of a futures uh we can get the contract of a future date and another case is the options so these two are the derivative products derivative products means the product which is derived from a existing product say for example shares of a icic bank is the current product cash product right but if you want to buy the future of icic bank that is called derivatives in that case you will
get the shares in future date. You will not get shares in a present date. This is called derivatives. The same way the options is there. Now, what is the concept of future trading? Future trading is basically related to that standardized contract. Future trading is a standardized contract. A standardized contract means it is a legal contract in which you can make a contract. In case it is standardized contract and in this contract we can get the shares or a particular time period time frame margin trading is also there margin trading means we can say that with minimum amount we can purchase the shares of a maximum amount that is the leverage is around 1 to 100 times that means in 1 rupees we can purchase a shares of 100 rupees this is the advantage of future trading concept right so this is very important to understand the benefit of future trading because if i want to purchase the shares and i don't want to hold the shares for a longer time period then i can go for the future trading right? two way opportunities if you thought that the market will goes down in next one month or two months then definitely you can sell the shares if you thought that no market will go up so you can buy the future contracts so this is the way how you can make money in a future trading concept right another thing is it is a hedging tool hedging tool means that whenever you want to manage your risk suppose in physically suppose physically you purchase the shares of x company and market is going down and you want that you have to manage the risk so you can sell the future contract of a particular share so that you can hedge your position hedge means you can manage the risk of your shares right so this is the advantage of your future trading concept because of our time shortage we cannot go in much depth position right but just overview of future concept now another thing is option trading concept option trading is saying that whenever you thought that the market will go up in that case you can go for the call option there is two type of option call option and put option right and another thing is put option put option means whenever you thought that you have to sell the market or you your market will going down stream so you can buy the put option so this is the way and the best advantage of this option trading is that your risk is limited but your profit is unlimited that means your profit is unlimited that means you can earn n number of amount but your loss amount is maximum to the amount paid by you only this is the advantage of your option trading concept right so these are the two concepts of option trading right another thing in a stock market is the sip systematic investment plan this is uh, generally related to the mutual fund but it is related to the financial market that's why i have involved this that the initial minimum uh, not minimum the amount invested by an investor on a particular time period say every month you are investing in a market right every time investing in a market so that is called sip another advantage is power of compounding power of compounding is saying that when you invest in sip your money will 
grow in multiplier options multiplier types right that means 2 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 64 likewise right so that is the power of compounding third is advantage of averaging advantage of averaging is saying that if suppose you started your investment in a market after some times your market goes down so you purchase at a lower rate sometimes more market down you purchase at another lower rates so this is here you can get the advantage of averaging also so sip the basic funda behind the sip is saying that it will always give a profit right this is the advantage of averaging in sip and it is very good for the small investors those who are planning for saving or for small investments right it sip is very good option for their investment even though as a student you can also start a sip of not more than 100 rupees at least right so that you can understand the impact of sip and the returns from sip just to learn from the market right so even you can also start sip from your own pocket money right and the most important thing is that if you want to earn more money so you have to take more risk because it is directly relationship that more risk more return and the basic funda about the stock market is don't take the news take the trend why take the trend because stock market 90 percent is related to the emotions right because on the basis of emotion stock market is working but if we really want to earn from the market what we need to do we need to track the trend what market is going on after analyzing the market trends you always be in a profitable situation but if you are not tracking the trend you may be in a loss so now i am open for the question answer If you have any question, anything in your mind, anything you want to ask related to the stock market, related to shares, derivatives, options, futures, I'm open for you people. Students, what all questions you have, please ask it. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Uh, actually, sir, I want to ask uh, one question to you that uh, when to enter into the market and when to exit? Because sometimes it happens that when to enter into the market and when to exit. Because sometimes it happens that when to enter into the market and when to exit. See, uh, your question is very good because it has to be decided by our own self that when to exit. Because whenever you are planning to enter, right, that is not surety. Suppose if you want to enter into the market right now, so the question arises to your mind. कि यार अभी तो शेयर मार्केट 58,000 पे है मैं अब परचेज करूंगा तो कब प्रॉफिट होगा राइट सो वी थॉट एंड बाय दिस थॉट वी ऑलवेज स्टे बैक दैट नो वी शुड नॉट एंटर एट दिस प्राइस राइट सो दिस क्वेश्चन अराइज इन आवर माइंड सो डोंट थिंक ओवर दिस व्हेन एवर यू थिंक दैट देयर इज मार्केट डाउन बाय 1000 2000 पॉइंट्स always enter into the market because whenever there is a top in a market the market will get you a correction of 1000 to 2000 points always because you have seen the trend because my last slide is saying that track the trend whenever market touches a new high after touching a new high it goes into the correction for 2000 1000 points down and in that duration you enter into the market right 
because you cannot wait that the market will comes to the 45000 then i'll enter into the market no you cannot wait so whenever the correction phases started you try to purchase few shares and another important thing is that don't put your full money into the market if suppose you want to enter into the market with 10000 rupees so start with 4000 after that you wait and watch and you thought that no after purchasing of my shares the market again market again get down then again purchase the 4000 rupees shares right so that you can average your shares so this is the way how you can enter into the market and you have to decide your own deadlines that no i want to achieve a profit of 2000 rupees after that i will come out from the market so this should be your deadlines your ending lines and starting lines because market is fluctuating you cannot say that i will wait for 70000 i'll wait for 80000 no a uh, market will reach to 62000 then again it will come to 59000 market again reach to 67 then again reach to 62 market is moving with the fluctuation so if you want that whenever market makes a new high try to come out with half of your shares amounts that you have a 10000 rupees shares so sold 5000 rupees shares at a new high because after achieving a new high market will gives you a correction points so after that on the point of that correction you again invest your 5000 rupees so this is one of the strategy thank you sir sir and uh, plus means in case of option trading mm -hmm. it happens that the stop loss gets hit and after that the price goes on increasing so should we apply the stop loss or no see one more thing most important thing is stop loss banta hi trigger hone ke liye the very basic funda is because stop loss we are setting the stop loss why because somebody told us somebody gives us calls right on the basis of those calls we have set the limit price we have set the stop loss also and the target price also and whenever you watch those calls then you always see after triggering of the stop loss that particular share prices reach to their target only right and we thought ki is price ko sirf hamara stop loss khane ke liye aana tha right it always happen 99% it happens so it's stop loss if you want if you are in a capacity to bear the risk more than disclosed by the uh, advisors so you put your stop loss more than that because this type of calls is provided to many of the peoples right and when you see in a stock exchange that everywhere everywhere you will find that number of traders available at this price so the market will moves accordingly right at the price where the more number of buyers or sellers stand there so stop loss if you want that your stop loss should not be triggered so apply stop loss a little bit lower as described disc, uh, described in your calls advice suggested by the advisor so that your stop loss may not be triggered otherwise don't apply stop loss wait and watch okay sir hello sir good afternoon yes uh, sir with regards to estadage budget uh, mm. which sectors will be if affected positively or negatively uh, what is your opinion sir yeah. thank you your question is uh, very good and uh, everybody everyone is having their own uh, opinion and in my opinion first thing is that uh, the honorable finance minister said that uh, the vehicle manufacturing electric vehicle so those companies who are in a 
manufacturing of electric vehicle and those for which is related to the battery manufacturing that sector will goes definitely very high and in the yesterday's share market the reflection shows that the shares of those particular companies goes very high tremendous growth right and other thing is that those companies who are related to the fintech areas right financial technologies firms so for that purpose the growth is positive right and when we talk about the negative aspect so there is no as such a negative because every sector is getting somewhere somewhere profitability right because the best thing is there is no increase in a corporate tax right and for the startups they have extended a one year limit also so it depends on from my opinion the budget is on a positive aspect moreover that is in a negative aspect but no definitely the companies manufacturing electric vehicles battery manufacturing and uh, those real estate infrastructure development that definitely will go how high thank you sir uh, sir hmm so as this is a session regarding share market so do mm. you think that uh, cryptocurrencies can be alternative to this yeah even though in yesterday's session uh, rbi that finance minister declared that the rbi will going to launch a digital rupee right so it is just a alternate of a cryptocurrency and uh, to because this is a dispute between that legalization of cryptocurrency the government said that if you want to earn money from the cryptocurrency that just pay 30% tax and get it legalized so this is the way because government is planning to make a digital currency and even yesterday they declared that the rbi will give issues a digital rupee so no this is definitely a good step by the government and even very soon this uh, digital rupee you will find in a trading platform also because sir uh, cryptocurrencies are not legal but still india has invested about uh, 7 lakh crore in crypto yeah. and since uh, the government has what? given the taxes so they will also get about 2 lakh crore as tax this is the way how because directly government cannot legalize the things so they have find the alternative ways right uh, what the alternative is they take a uh, they charge the tax on a cryptocurrency by this way right they can earn the revenue because everyone is trading in a cryptocurrencies right and for that purpose to because they know that the people are interested in digital currencies right not only crypto there are n number of countries are having their digital currencies right so for that purpose india is launching a digital currency so that people started trading in a digital rupee also and they charge tax to earn the revenue okay sir uh, hello sir yes uh, i have a question can i trade when markets are closed or shut down no you cannot trade because the window is closed for the trading purpose because the time limit is there right after 3:30 you even though after 3 pm you cannot sell or buy the shares because the market is not uh, open for the public that particular last 5 10 minutes is only for the settlement period and after market closing you can only see the screen of a share market your buying window will not accept the orders your sell window will not accept the orders after closing of a market ha ah, you can apply a limit order also you can apply the limit order but your okay. trade will not be executed
सर आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन या व्हाई कंपनी ब्रिंग्स बायबैक शेयर्स एंड व्हाट आर देयर बेनिफिट्स द बायबैक इज अ शूड एज पर द सेक्शन 77 राइट बट देयर आर सर्टेन रेस्ट्रिक्शंस इट्स नॉट इजी फॉर द कंपनीज टू बायबैक द शेयर्स until unless it has been permitted by the sebi also right advantage are that if they want to reduce their liquidity or ownership from the market for that purpose they buy back the shares suppose for example the company's ownership vested in a general public right more than 25% more than 50% so the ownership the company wants to get the ownership retain with the board members or managing members for that purpose they apply for, for buyback with the uh, sebi and if the sebi permitted they initiated the buyback of the shares just to regain the ownership sir uh, in share market means for tata motors we have one share mm-hmm. of tata motors and another is tata motors dvr what mm-hmm. that dvr is see this is just a kind of uh, alternative just like we can say that uh, mm, when you go to the market that uh, in physical market say maggi atta noodles maggi this mm, flavor right so these are some kind of a denomination discriminations in a tata motors but basically when in reality the tata motors is there right tata motors dvr is a little bit different maybe it may be like uh, some another company or some subsidiary company who is launching their shares on the name of uh, tata motors dvr because there are so many names which is resemble to each and every one each other sir actually that uh, i checked for dvr the mm-hmm. full form they used was uh, differential voting rights yeah differential voting rights are yeah, yes short form see there are some shares which is having their full voting rights and some are having their differential voting rights differential voting rights means uh they can vote in the board meetings for the uh, decision related to particular uh, like dividends for uh, for expansion or for anything if the board members calls them for the voting every every shareholder is having a right for voting until this there is a minimum limit say if you are uh, having a 20% ownership or if you are having a x percent ownership then only you have a voting rights so they have disclosed that particular shares for with direct voting rights oh, right so that is mentioned by dvr okay sir Sir, so both have one question. Mm-hmm. Which side do you suggest for market analysis? Yeah, I have seen. Uh, see, it depends on uh, if you want to go for the fundamental analysis. So you can get the details on a NSC National Stock Exchange, www.nscindia.com, right? on that base on that website you will get all type of fundamental details fundamental details means the pe ratio annual reports uh, cash flow analysis all type of details even though you can analyze the historical data of the particular share prices right on nsc but for the purpose of a uh, technical analysis you can refer the bloomberg right bloomberg is the site where you will get the technical datas or various uh, charts is also available so you can read the charts for technical analysis for fundamental analysis and national stock exchange website is much better because their data is authenticated uh, sir uh, i am udit i have one question uh, how yeah. can we uh, balance between the technical and fundamental analysis see uh fundamental analysis is the basic criteria to judge this company sector right but 
in really you want to trade you have to go for the technical analysis fund see just fundamental analysis analysis is just the cover just the cover but if you want to really test the things you can go you should go for the technical analysis not for the fundamental fundamental gives you direction that yes this is good but in actually it is good or not and it is really giving you profit or not that will be provided by the technical analysis thank you sir hello yes sir uh, i am audible but your voice is not clear audible you are audible but your voice is not coming properly sir i want to ask that uh, hello yeah yeah ask uh, uh, that ye iske liye ipo ke liye kab apply karna hai matlab waste time kya rehta hai ki aisa hota hai ki jab aap ipo apply karte hai possibilities bahut kam rehti hai see there yeah 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 i i will tell you see there is two things in ipo one is if the company is good bahut achhi company hai to aapko agar ipo ke liye apply karna hai to unka time frame hota hai theek hai in that time frame you have to apply for the ipo say for example the launching date of ipo is uh, 1st january and the closing ending date of ipo application is 20th तो उस केस में आप क्या करोगे उस केस में यू हैव टू अप्लाई अब क्वेश्चन अराइज कितने शेयर्स के लिए अप्लाई करना है बिकॉज अगर ज्यादा सब्सक्रिप्शन होगा बहुत अच्छी कंपनी तो एवरीबडी वांट्स टू बाय द आईपीओ राइट उस पर्टिकुलर कंपनी का सो इन दैट केस यू अप्लाई फॉर मोर सो देट यू विल गेट एटलीस्ट वॉट यू वॉन्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय टेन शेयर यू अप्लाई फॉर हंड्रेड शेयर वन शेयर सो देट यू विल गेट अ चांस टू गेट टेन शेयर Right. So this is the way. Because a good company's IPO is always oversubscribed. Hota hai. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, adding to that question, how are the uh, IPOs mm-hmm. are allotted? Because a uh, lot of the people uh, bid for that. So how can I improve my chances of uh, that uh, allot getting me the uh, my desired? Yeah, yeah, just just pardon, just just pardon your question. Repeat your question. Ah, uh, sir, as my friend uh, asked you that uh, I am just mm-hmm. adding to that that lot of the mm-hmm. uh, food companies IPOs are oversubscribed. So that uh, mm-hmm. how can I increase my chances of getting me the allotted? only you can increase your chances by applying more number of shares because you apply for the less number of shares so your application is all rejected because they allotted shares on the pro rata basis right pro rata basis means on the proportionate basis those who applied for more shares they'll be given proportionately some shares right so for that purpose you have to apply for large number of shares Okay, sir. Because uh, I applied for uh, one or two times, but uh, I was just uh, bidding for only one slot. Maybe that might be the reason. Yeah, I, uh, that's right. Uh, you have to apply for more than one slot so that you will get chance to uh, get at least one or two. Okay. And because you if you are not getting, if you if you if you are not getting shares, your application money will be refunded by the company. Yes, sir. Uh, that was refunded, but uh, it stuck for uh, yeah. some days. Yeah, it, but you have to sacrifice for that few days. <laughs> Thank you, sir. sir uh, I think, sir, for one PAN card only one once you can apply, right? Uh, for IPO. Yeah. yeah, but you can apply more lot, na? There is no re- restriction on lo- limitation of lots. You can apply for more, okay. or if you want, then you can apply with your on the name of your family member and all. Okay. And sir, uh, 
in in case in retail uh, market if uh, ipo is subscribed for four times and if i apply for four lot so is there chances that i will get minimum one lot in that case see it depends on company to company there is no surety because if there is such type of surety is there so everybody will get the uh, ipos and there is no surety depends on um, numbers it depends on the uh, criteria decided by So it was really a wonderful uh, session uh, by Avinash sir. Uh, sir has given a lot of insights from the basic understanding of financial market. Uh, moreover, he gave us uh, information about the stock exchanges, what BSC, NSC, which some seems to be so difficult for a normal person to understand. But the kind of information sir you have given today. I think a lot of doubts is clear and we could understand the way students are coming up with a question. A uh, lot of things which is uh, students they wanted to ask, but due to the time constraint, we are not able to take it now. Understanding uh, sir engagement in uh, further activities. So I request, uh, thank you Avinash, it was really awesome session I must say. Thank and now you, I thank you. <laughs> you. I request Divya uh, to kindly give uh, away the vote of thanks. And uh, students, please wait for some time because we are also going to take a good photograph. Right? Divya, are you here? Divya, you are there? I, I I believe uh, she lost the connection. So on the behalf of uh, just a moment. So on the behalf of uh, SB Patel Institute of Management, I would like to thank today's guest, Mr. Avinash uh, Wakeham. Uh, so the time that you have given uh, for the insights for our student is this uh, commendable. Uh, I really uh, looking. I'm really looking forward to have such more session, which is going to be more insightful, where students can come up with a lot of questions, and it is going to be uh, more interactive, where students come across with a lot of questions. So thank you once again for uh, the information, the insight, the knowledge that you have shared with us. So thank you. And I request all the students to kindly turn on your camera. If it's possible, we would be taking a good group photograph. All the students are requested to kindly uh, turn on their cameras. Students, am I audible to everyone? Yes, please turn on your uh, cameras. We would have a lovely photograph with us, sir. This is going to be a lifetime mem memory. Financial market is such a topic uh, that uh, is so connected with everyone because everyone wanted to have uh, more money, more investment. So understanding uh, is uh, giving us uh, a right pathway of uh, our funds, how to invest, where to invest. So with this, we are ending up today's session. I request all the students to kindly fill the feedback form I've shared in the link. Uh, Abhinash, sir, we will be soon uh, seeing you for further more sessions from you. Thank you, sir. It was a wonderful time with you. So thank you one, once again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Student, yes. Students kindly join class after, uh, I think uh, we will join a class around 325. Okay. okay thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, students. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.